babies, baby. That was not the case. This was not the case, honey. This is. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl tonight, Bella Wear Style Meets Grace, and I'm always excited to see each and every one of you here today. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the Bella Gang. To all my former subscribers, welcome, welcome back. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscription button because you don't want to miss another upload. All right, Bella, so right before I jump into this video, I do want to apologize for my absence. I know y'all be missing your girl, you know. I missed you too, you know. I know you missed me. And I truly did miss my subscribers. I see that I've grown so much over the time that I've been gone. It's just like, girl, let me get back on here. Like, they still in the kid. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I truly did want to apologize for my absence. I've been working on the space that I record in. I want it to be multifunctional because really, literally beforehand, before this video, I could only use it just for recording. But now you guys will see a lot more pictures of me. I th I'm thinking about starting a new Instagram. Comment down below if you think I should start a new Instagram with full body pics. We're doing a review on this kaleidoscope drops. It say miracle drops, but you'll understand in a few minutes why I say miracle. So let me just go ahead and open it up for you. This is what the container looks like. So the pro about this product is the fact that it's in a dark container and that it has a very useful droplet that you can use after you get done um, using the product that's inside of it. But other than that, baby, it's all cons for me. It's a no for me, sis. All right, sis, so let me just jump right into it. Let's not go around the bush. So long story short, your girl went ahead and got a hair install. And unfortunately, I did not, I don't have patience. Let's just not sugarcoat what it is. I don't have patience. So when I put in the little remover thing and I was rubbing it into my scalp, rubbing it into my scalp, it was not taking out the product, y'all. So it was like, like not moving the wig. So for me, it wasn't moving the wig fast enough. In actuality, it probably did move the wig, but for me, it was just like, this wig is still in the same place. Baby girl did a good install, the girl who did my hair. So, long story short, I decided to tug at my... Why? 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 You know, the front part where the, the closure was laying at, the frontal, because I had a frontal, y'all. Girl, I don't read out all my edges. My edges got ripped out so bad. I went to my hairstylist and I was like, girl, I'm bald headed because I should have listened to you when you told me I got a bad hairline. My hairline is very low, literally to the point that it kind of like um, meets right here to my brow. It was burning, it was red, irritated. Girl, that's a story for another day. But anyways, so I went ahead and I was trying to grow these edges back, honey. I was like, oh, uh -uh, I ain't got no edges. And the thing was, my edges only ripped out on one side. The other side still had edges all the way down to my eyebrows so you can only imagine how weird I was looking mad weird like the people in New York would say I was looking mad weird so anyways I decided to go buy this kaleidoscope well no I ain't gonna say I decided to go buy it what I actually bought this for was for the was for the droplet thing like I really thought that this is gonna help because of the sensitive area that it's in and girl, when I put this product on my scalp, my scalp was like, you tried it, try again. Like literally, I've used a lot of products in my hair, such as aloe oil made from scratch or aloe oil in the store, castor oil. I tried all of that stuff or whatever, and it never irritates my scalp. I'm not one of those people who have like a really irritated scalp that's always itching and stuff like that, even under my braids. I never really have an itching problem. Girl, look like I had fleas, okay? I was just in there, I was digging in the scratches, scratches, scratching to the point that, you know what, I'ma just let you watch the clip. So this is what my scalp was looking like. As you can see, it was flaky, I had ripped my skin off, and it was really, really white. I ripped out my skin and my scalp. That's how much this product irritated my skin. 
I want you to comment down below if you've ever had that kind of reaction to a product that's supposed to be, you know, helpful to hair growth because I've never experienced anything like that before, y'all. And I would, I'm not even gonna front with you. I was shook, like, what is happening? And so for a little bit, I'm like, ooh, maybe I'm getting some inches that are coming in. Girl, no. It was like getting so bad because I was doing it every day or every other day. I mean, the product says, let's read the direction. see no results within the three days that I used. I gave it three days, y'all. Three days, that's all you getting out of me because that is not cute to be in nobody corporate office and just, oh my, I'm talking about, it was just, who child, help me. I wanted to literally snatch off my wig. Like I never experienced, I just know I'm not the only person who experienced the kind of discomfort that I received with this kaleidoscope. To be honest, I didn't go looking for a kaleidoscope. I went looking for a container that I could use after I've used the product that was in it. All I wanted to say about this product today, I hope you enjoyed my review. I hope it was a little bit informative, but I know I was a little bit all over the place. Comment down below products that you feel like might help me grow back my edges because I'm still walking around looking like a weirdo with my edges gone. But thank goodness I always keep my wigs on because baby, it's a no for me. I'm just, I have to figure out how to grow back my edges. My edges is like gone on one side. Can you, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm not even gonna do it to myself. I'm not even gonna show you all my edges, but. So after recording this video, I did find out that there are counterfeit kaleidoscopes out there, pretty much fakes, knockoffs, but it looks like I had the original version because it says original and not all the other stuff that the fake ones have. So maybe I had a bad batch. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to head over to my channel to see many more other content that I'm pretty sure you might enjoy as well. And as always, love you and I'll see you on the next video.